How's it going guys? So a lot of you guys had asked me to recreate this look from a couple of videos ago and I decided to do that. But I also decided to add a few other boho braided hairstyles for fall that I thought you guys would really enjoy. All of these hairstyles are really easy and simple to do and can all be done in under like five to 10 minutes. That's about how long it took me to do them. So I hope you guys enjoy them. Let's begin. So this is the first look that we are going to be working on and what you're gonna do is divide your hair into two sections like pigtails. And then we're going to be doing a regular fishtail braid. So if you guys don't know what a fishtail braid is, you take a small section of hair from one side and you combine it with the other side and then you take a small section of hair from that side and combine it with the other side again. So you're gonna be doing that all the way down until you reach the bottom of your hair. Once you've reached the bottom of your hair and you're all done braiding, then what you're gonna be doing is taking out small sections of the hair, just pulling them apart to make your hair big and full and just kind of messy. So that's where you get the boho look from. It kind of messes things up and it makes it a little more casual, but it also gives it a certain something to the braid that you didn't know was missing before. Then you're going to repeat all of the steps onto the other side. And to add a little bit of flair, I would add a boho, fedora, a hat, something like that, just to make it a little more interesting. All right, look number two. So this is going to be a side braid. So what you wanna do is part your hair onto one side of your hair. It could be as deep or not as deep of a part that you want. I'm kind of fixing mine up and making it a straight part so it's not like a messy look. Pull all hair to one side and spritz it just to make sure that all the hair stays where you want it to. Then grab a small section of hair and you're going to be doing a regular Dutch braid. A Dutch braid and a French braid are two different braids. A Dutch braid, you're gonna take the pieces of hair and braid them under each other so the braid sits on top of your hair. So as you braid your hair down, you're gonna be taking small sections of hair and braiding them into each other. So you're going to be fully incorporating all of your hair into this look. So when you get to this point in the braid, you're gonna reach around and you're going to pull the bottom piece of hair from that side and then incorporate it into the braid at that point. I like to do it this way because it prevents that hair from falling out when you're out and about and stuff like that. It just, it just makes it so you're not having to worry about hair falling out all the time. So you're going to be opening up your braid again like the first look. This takes time and I just really love how this transforms the look of your hair because you can make it as big and as full as you want or you can just keep it as simple braid that we just did. It's such an easy braid to do but everyone thinks it takes a really long time. So once you tie off the elastic, you're going to be putting some bobby pins in the back of your hair just to prevent any hair from falling out, especially if you have layers. Spritz your hair and then you are good to go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, look number three. This look, I really do like to have curled hair for this. I like to have curled hair for all of these looks just because it gives it a little more volume and I have no volume in my hair. So you're going to be taking a few sections of your hair and pinning them back, one on each side. And then you're just going to be doing a regular fishtail braid. Once you've done the fishtail braid, just pull it apart again and then tie with an elastic. Once the braids are all done, you're gonna take those pieces of hair that you pinned back. I just like to pull out some wispies and some fringe that you don't want incorporated into your hair. And that is the finished look. Very simple and very easy to do, but still a very unique look for an everyday style. This is the last look and this is just a ponytail with a braid. So what you're gonna do is section out the front section of your hair, doesn't matter which side you want, and then do a regular Dutch braid on that hair. What I like to do as a little tip, make the first part of your braid have a lot more sections. So you're gonna like take smaller pieces so when you open that braid up, it looks like there's a lot more going on than there really is. This is like my favorite part of every braid. Can you guys tell that I just really love to do this to my braids? It honestly just makes it look so much different and more interesting than a regular braid. So you're gonna be taking a bigger hair tie and just pulling everything back into a ponytail. So you're gonna be taking a small section of hair out of your ponytail and wrapping it around the elastic band to hide it. And when you get to the end of it, you're just going to be taking a bobby pin and pinning it underneath the ponytail so it kind of hides it. And there you go, you have a very simple looking ponytail, but it looks like you did a lot when you actually really didn't. So I hope you guys liked the hairstyles that I came up with and hopefully they will inspire your future hairstyles. If you guys do decide to recreate any of these looks, be sure to tag me on Instagram and Twitter because I do look at all of the stuff that you guys tag me in. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Ready in the morning, I always have to watch something. It doesn't matter what it is, but I spend time getting ready and I like to catch up on YouTube videos, on Netflix, on something. Then I spend some time putting my face on because that's what girls do.